so we've got different options or different um, requirements for those different levels. So if it's really, really low risk or if it's not food for sale or if it's food for sale for fundraising purposes, there is no need for a plan. So that's the bottom level. You know, there are some exemptions in the Food Act that say if you're doing this kind of stuff, you don't need to um, have a particular plan to manage food safety. Once you get into a little bit higher level of risk, but still low to medium risk, you're still doing some things that, you know, actually if you do something wrong, some people are going to get sick, or you've got a lot of people that you're servicing with your food, um, you're going to need to follow some, some of the rules. And that's what we call a national program. A national program is pretty much a just tell me what to do option. It's a, a standard set of rules <laughs> that you need to follow. Um, but it's not exactly like the food hygiene regulations. When you hear rules, you might say again, oh, so it's going to tell me how many wash hand basins I need or you know, that sort of thing. It's more rules around the behaviours that we want to see in food businesses. So it's things like, are you keeping your premises clean? Are you taking temperatures of refrigerated um, goods? Those sorts of things. The things that make a difference to food safety, there's going to be a sort of standardised set of rules under a national programme. <coughs> if you're doing higher risk foods, you need a documented plan that's specific to your business, and that's what we call a food control plan. So a national programme, you'll need to keep some records and bits and pieces, but you don't actually have to write a plan because we've done it for you. That's why it's a just tell me what to do option. Um, under a food control plan for higher risk food businesses, that's really about you telling us how you manage food safety in your business and it's a little bit like a contract. So essentially it's you saying, this is what we're going to do and we go, yep, that sounds all cool. You know, we reckon that'll manage food safety in your business and then you follow you, your plan. We know, again, that you know, lots of restaurants and cafes and bakeries and butcher shops and fishmongers um, are all doing similar activities and some of those people, you know, um, would just like to know what exactly it is that you have to do in order to meet the requirements. And so we have developed a template food control plan. So if that template suits your business, if, it, if the options in there suit what you're doing, you can just pick that up, fill in the template and register that with us, follow that and you're good to go. Okay, so there is a just tell me what to do option under the food control plan being said, it's not that hard to write your own plan. The, the template's a good starting point. You can steal lots of stuff out of there, put it into your plan, and then just write the bits that you know the template doesn't cover. Um, and we do have some guidance coming around um, how to build a custom plan as well.